Go 16 infrared. We're looking at some weather patterns moving across the United States. This one here just went over Arizona. In fact, parts of it are still over Arizona. Going to drop heavy snow in the elevations. Quite a bit of rain down here in the in the valley. Not a lot, but at least an inch. There's tornado warnings right now over in southeastern uh, New Mexico. But this storm system is going to move up into the Rockies. It's going to get situated over Denver, parts of Nebraska, especially northwestern Nebraska, Wyoming, South Dakota, where there are significant blizzard warnings out right now as I do this video from the Weather Prediction Center. Updated Tuesday afternoon, March 12, 2019. And you can see the map here, the dark red are the high winds and heavy snows. It's going to be next to impossible to do anything outside. Beginning tomorrow through tomorrow night, this is going to be, at the time, the worst weather on planet Earth. Significant plains blizzards, severe blizzard conditions with winds gusting from 50 to 70 miles per hour. And I'll show you some models that are showing wind gusts of even into the 80s and possibly 90 miles per hour. This is simply incredible. Are expected by late this evening across parts of eastern Wyoming, northeastern Colorado, western Nebraska, and western South Dakota. They're also expecting flooding, historical flooding, in southeastern Nebraska. So we've got flooding. We've got some reports sent in by Jordan from southeastern Nebraska. He's going to be sharing pictures too when he can. And then a significant blizzard in northwestern Nebraska. So Nebraska is going to be totally consumed with inclement weather. Heavy wet snow of six inches or greater is most likely from portions of Colorado and Wyoming northeastward into portions of Nebraska and the, and the Dakotas. Some locations will likely see snowfall in excess of one foot with isolated spots possibly approaching two feet and drifting much higher. The drifting snow, this is going to be a common scene up there. That's what it's going to look like with winds that high. This is going to be a very, very common scene up in those areas. No joke. But the snow is going to be piling up, piling up very quickly, making travel next to, if not completely impossible, for at least 36 hours. Like I said, conditions are going to deteriorate to some of the worst conditions on Earth. This is going to be equivalent to like a nor'easter or a land-based hurricane. The central low pressure is going to reach almost record levels. Some models are putting it at record levels, forecasted to be at least anyway. You can see the jet stream moving all of this energy from the west to the east. And right here is where that central low pressure is going to possibly set a record. Here's some of the wind speeds I found on VentureSky. And 96 miles per hour just south and west of Colorado Springs. 80, 79 mile an hour south of Colorado Springs. 90 mile an hour. This is at VentureSky.com. Wednesday, March 13th at 3 p.m. Now, there's no guarantee that they're going to be this strong, but it is forecasting very high wind gusts. These are wind gusts for tomorrow afternoon. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen, but this is one of the models that I wanted to share with you guys. That's why I mentioned land-based hurricane. These winds are very, very strong. Here's the weather warnings. The, the purples are winter storm warning. High winds, uh, heavy snow in these areas. The white is a blizzard warning. Complete whiteout conditions in these areas here. Uh, just unbelievable, guys. The yellows are where we got flood watches and warnings. And I want to show you a map that was sent in by Jordan. This is in uh, southeastern Nebraska. All of these rivers are expected to flood. And they're talking, they're using language like historic flooding like they've never seen before. Already got flooding going on in the Midwest, in the Ohio or Mississippi River Valley, Missouri River Valley, Ohio River Valleys, and it's going to be spreading to the West, including Nebraska now after this storm system. I'll show you a map that was sent in. Major river flooding expected. Historic proportions quite possibly around Omaha, Nebraska. The purple river gauges are major flooding. The reds are moderate flooding. And the oranges are minor flooding. And this is after this low pressure event starting tonight through tomorrow, tomorrow night into Thursday. Rivers are expected to come up out of their banks like they've never